Hello, how are you? This is Jelly Bling. Today's project, I went a little overboard. Um, I was going through some garage sale stamp sets and I have all these little animal stamp sets, which I keep saying I'll never buy anymore and I haven't. But looking through the old ones, yeah, when you look at all these samples, you'll see, went a little crazy. But all of the cards use the same dies, which are brand new, Thoughtful Expressions. Now, I was gonna use this shape, but I really like how this shape turned out. And they all are a Z fold. And all of them I did just a hint of pool party for a background. This one is using the Zoo Review um, designer paper where you just cut it out. And I'd like to do one like this today, but I'll show you all the samples. Cute, cute. Keep that one near. Remember donkeys? Yeehaw! Remember mice? So I think any set you have that will fit on here that's a good focal point, that would be great for this project. Yeah, you could tell as I went on, I started getting more and more elaborate. I'm trying to keep it simple, but that's not always so easy. Oh, the meerkats. I looked it up, meerkats, they're they're out in the desert. And then this one, this is Everlasting Beauty. It's this flower right here. Just beautiful. And this is the Daisy Paper. And it has a lot of different colors. Um, it's somewhat solid for the back. And then the other side is very floral. A lot of daisies, very pretty. But this one might be my favorite. Well, okay, I like this one too. So let's do one like this today. Okay, using Thoughtful Expressions dies for these shapes right here. All of them have the same shapes. All of them have the same fold. And a lot of samples. Oh, and then Happy Labels. See this hello? Just a note, this is really simple. This would be good to have on hand in your drawer for Oh my gosh, I need a card. Hello, just to know, it could be a birthday, it could be a thinking of you, it could be get well, anything. Especially if you know someone that knits. But that paper, oh, let's go through that paper. That paper has so many different styles. Yeah, I have a whole package here. And this whole package is for the different animals. So these are all on wheels. And I kind of want to do this, this guy right here. I do like the moped. And these have a hint of coloring. You could definitely add a bit more coloring if you want. And the back is all black and white. So this one is more hobbies. Like if you paint, if you do yoga, if you cook, if you knit. So two sheets of each. Music. Look at all of those. So just about any any um, hobby that you have or your friends or whoever you're sending it to has. Look at all these little dancers. Oh, these are really cute. What if I do this one? Oh, but I like this one too. Oh boy. But the, the back is all black and white, which is very convenient for card making because it could go with anything. Look at the campers. You know, I'm doing this for Lisa. I should do I should do one of these. I'll, that's what I'll do. Which one? I don't know. Oh, is there more paper? Hold on. Campers. I don't think I'm going to do the skunk. Oh, and then it's back to this paper. Oh, birthday. Birthday would be good. Armadillo? Raccoon, oh, look how happy that dog is. You know I love me some dogs. But you know, this is going, this is all about Lisa. And Lisa has a new little mini, I think she has an Airstream. She's all fancy. So how about, I like the trees. What should be on the front? Maybe camp, campers? So. 
this paper is great because you just cut it out. You don't have to do stamping. You just cut it out. I think it would be by the campfire. But I keep liking this little pig. And you know what? She does backpacking. Maybe she won't mind the pig. I'll put some clouds behind him. Skunk is kind of cute, though. But what is this one? Whenever I ask, what is that? Someone always has the answers. And you know, when I do cards, I always do a lot on the inside. A lot, a lot. I kind of overload them. You don't have to do that. I'm trying my best not to do that. Oh, what word should I do then? Because I know she went camping with her husband. Life is better with you. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to take the mountains. But she went to Yosemite this past summer. She did a, they, her and her husband, they did a long old hike. Okay, I'm not sure how much of that I need. So I'll just put it here. Probably should do the card base first. I think that's dirt, but I'm not sure. So if you find you some cute paper, or just, just get this paper, it covers just about everything. And it is celebration time, which means anything you order from the mini catalog or the annual catalog. This paper is in the annual catalog. You get stuff for free. Well, qualifying order is $50. And they do have some $100. Um, if you order $100, they are a little bit nicer items like a die set or the dogwood. The dogwood set is beautiful. So get you one pack of paper and you could make 100 cards. I'm kidding. But there might be 100 images on that paper. These trees are really cute. And then you can use the back side for the black and white paper. Then you just need black and white. Cutting, cutting. And you know, in between these trees, I'm gonna go back and um, cut out that little gap. So whenever you're doing that, if you cut right through here and you're like, wait a minute, you're cutting through the grass. When the paper pieces go back together, you can't even tell that there's a little cut through there. Okay, so I cut that out. But when these go back together, you can't tell. Yeah. I think I'm just going to put words on the inside, a little bit on the outside. I had to come up with little ones for the outside. Could be hello, because they're camping. I don't know about the yay. Or it could be something about happy place. You are my happy place. Because when they were camping, I was just going to have to give this card to her. They were just enjoying each other's company. Okay, I'm going to give this card to Lisa so that she could give it to her husband. Okay, so then what should it say on the outside? Um... I don't know little pig because he has on a backpack so these images you can add more color if you want because some of them are lightly colored some of them are hardly colored at all um, the only thing is designer paper it is made um, it's a different quality paper it's a little bit thinner than stamping up white cardstock so if you color it with the blends have to be a little bit careful because it has a tendency 
um, to be more fibrous and it kind of the ink bleeds outside of the line art. So if you're aware of that and you just kind of tap it a little bit to apply color, you'll be fine. Or maybe just test it on the white, then you'll go, oh, that's what you're talking about. Backpack. A little bit of grass. And then I'm going to cut through here just a bit. Still don't know what to, um, to put on the front. I like the happy place thing for the inside. You are my happy place. Oh. Turn it over. You're like, where are the words? Well, I was lazy, I guess. So here we go. This is how I do the words. Um, so you can take this off. There's two different ways to do it, but this is the way I've been doing it lately. Put it on here. There's a little cut right in the middle. We're going to take off the label and get the stamp, turn it over, and there we go. But I do one more step. Regular scotch tape because this sticks so well, no complaints, that I put a piece of scotch tape so when it's on here and I go to peel it up, especially if it's been stuck for more than a day, peeling it up, you're almost about to separate the label from the foam, which isn't good. So if you put a piece of tape, that gives you a place to get your fingernail underneath. Okay, so that's gonna be on, I'm looking at this one. There's hello on the outside. And then this is, you are my happy place. How about, should I do hello again? Uh, life is better with you. Well, let's see how big are these pieces? You know, let's just start making the card. Then we'll know how big pieces to work with. Okay, so here is card base. Five and a half by eight and a half. And then fold the top back. And that makes it a Z fold. Okay. And let's do stripes. Stripes could be mountain-like. That paper is perfect for this project, but then it's hard to decide um, what you're gonna keep to cut out and what you're going to use as background paper. But like I was using the daisy paper with the different colors, that works perfectly good too. Okay. Here's inside pieces, and time to do the labels. Right here, look how they perfectly nest, love that. Black one, white one, have those done, maybe this way. Ooh, black and white is fun, and trees, mountains. The mountains might need a little color. And hiking. Kind of like that campfire guy. See right down here it could say, hello. How about down here? Okay, but first I'm going to do the pool party little swoosh of color. 
See on this one how there's the pool party rather than it being just plain white? So, pool party, blending brush, just a little bit of color, just so it looks like sky. Probably going to do some more of this blending brush on the inside. So that could go here. And then the hello. Where's hello? Hello. Hello. And I'm going to test this first just because. If the label is on crooked, which it does look a little crooked, if you test it right along the bottom of the paper, that lets me know that the stamp stamps even with the bottom of the, the rubber. Hello. Then, what was for the inside? I'll, I'll stamp the inside in just a minute because I want to do the blending brush first. But I don't know where to put it yet. So, a few dimensionals. Bo is over there having nightmare dreams. He does that a lot. Last night, I think he wasn't feeling very good. He was um, always wanting to go out. And then he'd go into the bedroom and just kind of sit all off to the side. It's like, what are you doing? Okay, that's cute. I really like the trees. I'm going to put some green down here for grass. And I think maybe a little green here. So I think this is granny apple. So a little bit of granny apple. And granny apple light to fill it in. Maybe the trees I could do in um, pecan. And this rock. Not sure about coloring those mountains yet. Like what color? Okay. Keep thinking the backpack wants some color. Yeah, what color? What color should the backpack be? Some bright color? How about pig is really cute. Okay, I'll keep it a little neutral. Mm. Slate? Granite? How about granite? Okay, backpack. Granite UB. What about his toes? Maybe they could be granite too. Yeah, that looks a little more complete having that colored. How about his toes in black light or smoky slate dark? Maybe 
Okay. See how that's looking. Cute. Okay, I think we're set with the outside. Oh, but I want to add on some ribbon or something. Something. Well, if this is kind of a boy card or for a boy, what about linen thread? Linen thread is my answer to everything always. But I don't think I pulled that out. Well, I could easily get it. Linen thread wrapped around here. I'll get it. It shall be two times around. Then in a knot. That that looks like twigs or something. That's good for camping. thread. Okay, so this could get attached. Mm, because there's linen thread on there, I'll do it with a dimensional. Little hiker. I love this paper. And then this walking stick right here. I'll attach that and the feet with glue. Make it look a little 3D like. walking stick I keep seeing that I think that's a leaf therefore it will be green okay and then this oh that is so cute so the grass I'll attach with glue and the trees the bottom part of the trees will go with dimensionals oh host code I'm gonna set this right here it's on my blog always but if ever you need anything um, I would love to be your demonstrator, and if you can, use the host code that is appreciated. And you can get free stuff. Celebration, you get free stuff. Oh, and I have to make a thank you for your order card, too. I love to send thank you for your order cards. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so the outside is almost done. And you are my happy place with the label on it. Okay, let's see how this stamps. I end up working in six inches of space. Crazy how that happens. So I'm going to test this first. Okay. And when positioning the stamp, normally I'd have it up a little bit high, but I want it to hide behind this label. So I'm going to put it down rather than up high where I naturally would do it, I'm going to do it just a little bit lower. Oh, I should have done, let me try that first, the um, blending brush. Because if I do the blending brush over the top of the black ink, sometimes the black ink gets blended into, and I don't want blue black. I want pool party blue. Just in the middle.
I think I need to right ink my little spot. It's been used lots for all of those samples. I had so much fun though. It's like, oh, this one is a bit different. Oh, let's try this other animal. Okay, that's good. Now let's try doing the stamp. Right in the middle. Good. Okay, and then what about these little mountains? Or I could get another something from the paper, like that one by the campfire. He's cute. Okay, campfire it is. Probably have to color him a little bit or not because if I don't color him then that fire really stands out you know let me get a little closer I might need to do more bl blue blending brush that would make this um, marshmallow and fire really stand out So do you like marshmallows? Do you go camping and do you eat them? I like to cook them and I like them to be golden brown, but then I have to wait because they're too hot to eat. And I can handle some more. I can handle one and then after that, ugh, it's just too sweet. When I was a kid, I used to, um, for the marshmallow, let it burn, let it catch on fire, blow it out, and eat it. Ugh. I don't know what I was thinking. So I think either I could color in this. I think it's a lion. It has that big mane. Um, or I could do lots of the blending brush and just leave them as is. I could do both, but I think one or the other is necessary. I'm going to try doing the blending brush. Just because that's kind of the theme. Okay. Maybe a little bit of green grass that will make the um, front of the card come together with the inside of the card. Okay. So, a little bit of green grass, not too close to the fire. Oop, there's more grass here. And then the rocks. I think I did them in pecan pie. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, these mountains. I still want to do something. See, to me that looks like that's snow on top. Maybe I'll do um, granite light. Oh, that's good. That's plenty. Just a hint of color. Camping. A 
and I'm not being real perfect about my coloring, just, just a little bit of color. And that one has a sharp edge, I don't like that. Okay, let's see how this is gonna look. Yeah, I think the blending brush needs to come down. Oh, that is cute. Okay, that's it. But blending brush down here to make these images stand out. I like it. Who knew? Well, that paper, it's hard to go wrong with it. I like that first one though. With the knitter, I know a lot of people that knit. I had to turn my paper when I'm doing the blending brush because I always get a circle of nothing in the center. Okay, now I have two areas of pool party blending brush. Okay. Oh, very, very cute. Okay, so because this is the inside of the card, it's going to go on flat. Oop, I left my glue open. I could I could do dimensionals a little bit. Let me let me do just a little bit. So on these little pieces, like the tail and the marshmallow, those get glue. And dimensionals on the rest of it. I like that. Okay, and then the mountains, kind of just off there on the side. I think the mountains are going to show through, but that's okay. Well, I have the glue out. could pull out my Stampin' Seal. Okay, there is today's project. You are my happy place. Hello! Oh, and the mountains do show through, but that's cute. It all matches together. So, today's project. And thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate that. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.